Welcome to our video on the best soundbars for projectors. If you're looking to enhance the audio experience for your projector setup, a soundbar is a great option. In this video, we'll take a look at some of the top soundbars on the market that are specifically designed to work with projectors. We'll cover a range of options, from budget-friendly to high-end, so you can find the perfect soundbar to suit your needs. You can also find the links to all discussed soundbars below in the description, so you can check them for the latest prices and more information. Starting our list with Polk Audio Cygnus 4. Polk Audio doesn't have the aura or the brand power of Sony or Bose, but its sound systems offer the ideal balance of quality and cost. The Polk Audio Cygnus 4 is a 3.12 setup released in 2021. It's the higher-end bar in Polk's Cygnus series, and unlike the Polk Audio Cygnus 2, it supports Dolby Atmos content. Its slightly V-shaped sound adds extra punch to the bass and brightness and the treble to your favorite music. Dialogue still reproduces very clearly, and there's even an adjustable dialogue enhancement feature that lets you control how loud voices sound in the mix. Speaking of the dimensions, it's an ultra-slim soundbar, just over 2 inches in height, but has an extended length of 41 inches. Within that space, it has squeezed in two mid-range drivers, two tweeters, and an elevation speaker at the center. Along with that, the S4 ships with an external wireless subwoofer. These produce the low frequencies, like the whoop-whoop noise of a helicopter blade, while the tweeters take care of the high-frequency sounds like chimes. Furthermore, the soundbar has the patented voice adjust technology that helps you listen to a crisp, clear speech in a movie or conference. Add the Dolby Atmos 3D surround sound feature, and now you realize why it's rated so highly. The Polk Audio Cygnus 4 is designed to work with all types of TVs, whether 8K, 4K, or HD. Thus, you'll find many connectivity options, including HDMI ARC, optical, and audio jack, besides wireless options like Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Built-in Google Chromecast is another handy feature you may like. All in all, Polk S4 is a capable and competitively priced Atmos soundbar that delivers deep bass and immersive audio using an easy-to-setup system. The soundstage is understandably front-heavy, but the delivery is precise and detailed, making the Polk Cygnus 4 a great all-rounder for movies, music, and games. At number 2, it's TCL Alto 6 Plus. The TCL Alto 6 Plus is a simple budget-friendly 2.1 setups from 2020. This soundbar is advertised to work seamlessly with TCL Roku TVs, allowing you to use this TV's remote to control the soundbar and access controls. It has a decent, although somewhat dark, sound profile, and it comes with three EQ presets so you can customize its sound. It can also get loud enough to fill a large or crowded room, and streaming your favorite audio to the bar is easy as it supports Bluetooth. While it doesn't offer many extra features, it's an alright bar for those on a budget. At about $130, you get a Dolby Digital Sound System that maximizes sound clarity and produces incredible virtual surround sound. It is complemented by the rich bass produced by the wireless subwoofer. You can choose from three different sound modes designed exclusively for movies, music, and TV. Switch to movie mode when watching an action-packed blockbuster and to music mode when your favorite chartbuster is on. The TV mode is optimized to isolate ambient sounds from speech thus suppressing background noise. This helps immensely when verbal content is your primary focus. The Alto 6 Plus is powered by Bluetooth and can pair up with your mobile or iPad. But you also have optical cable and HDMI cable as connection options. Last but not least, the soundbar is Roku TV ready and compatible with the TCL Roku TV remote. At number 3, it's Sonos Beam Gen 2. If you're looking for a Sonos soundbar for your projector screen, the Beam Gen 2 is the best option. It's cheaper than the Arc and more advanced than the Ray, thus offering a mix of value and affordability. The soundbar features four mid-range drivers and a tweeter offering precise front-facing sound exposure. But it also creates a virtual surround sound experience, thanks to a 40% faster chip that opens up new audio paths. While the Beam Gen 1 didn't have Dolby Atmos, the Gen 2 does. So experience crystal clear dialogue and speech like never before. You can add the Sonos sub subwoofer, not included in the pack, to get that beefy bass. Released in 2021, the Sonos Beam Gen 2 was an upgrade to the original Beam, which came out in 2018. It integrates seamlessly into the Sonos ecosystem, and you can control it from anywhere in the house using the S2 controller, Alexa, or Google Assistant. The Sonos Beam Gen 2 is satisfactory for mixed usage. This 5.0 setup 
offers a small standalone design that's ideal if you have a smaller living space. Out of the box, it reproduces dialogue in movies and TV shows with clarity and vocals, and lead instruments in your favorite music are present and detailed in the mix. Of course, since it's a standalone bar, you don't get as much rumble in the low bass during action-packed scenes, and the lack of satellites takes away from the immersive feel with surround sound. However, you can always add these components separately if you want to improve the performance. At number 4, it's Sony HT A7000, a powerful musical and immersive single soundbar that succeeds where many multi-speaker systems fail. The Sony HT A7000 is a premium 7.12 setup released in 2021. It's advertised to support S4's Pro Front Surround and Vertical Surround Engine technologies for a more immersive listening experience. Its default sound profile is pretty neutral with a touch of extra punch in the bass, making it suitable for listening to most types of audio content. It contains 11 high-quality drivers, which include 5 mid-range drivers, 2 beam tweeters, and 2 subwoofers. The soundbar is equipped with the Vertical Surround Engine and S4's Pro Front Surround to bring the best out of these drivers. On top of that, you have Sony's proprietary 360-degree spatial sound mapping that produces room-filling sound. With two height speakers for Dolby Atmos and DTSX already included, you should expect the best audio experience, whether in movies, music, or gaming. You can further customize the sound experience with additional subwoofers and rear speakers if you're an audiophile. These wireless devices automatically pair with the main soundbar and are ready from the get-go. Last but not least, it has a wide range of connectivity options and two HDMI slots, in and out. It also works with older projectors as it has a 3.5mm jack socket as the analog input. At number 5, it's Nakamichi Shockwave Ultra 9.24. The Shockwave Ultra 9.24 is what you may call a soundbar on steroids. It's powerful, immersive, precise, and has many connectivity options. The soundbar consists of six full range and two one inch tweeters. These achieve a dynamic sound profile 35% wider than typical models. And that's just the start. The package includes two wireless subwoofers and four surround and rear speakers. When you position these correctly around the seating area, you experience authentic 360-degree surround sound, not virtual. Nakamichi has developed the SSC Max technology that brings the software and hardware together to deliver precise audio. Set it up in any room with the projector and create a 360-degree cinematic experience. The soundbar features as many as three HEMI ports allowing you to connect to multiple devices simultaneously. Also, it's one of the few soundbars to have Qualcomm Aptex HD and Bluetooth 5.0 for high-speed wireless transmission. And with that, we come to the end of our review. I hope this video helps you to choose the best soundbar for your projector.